Um, so back in the list, we have Chuck Goodwin in the red and the white coming in at 6'1", 260 pounds, been fighting for the past two years versus Jack Young, uh, six foot 200, fighting for the past year and a half. Uh, this is going to be our modified triathlon. How many chucks could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Uh, so we literally have uh, two different chucks here. We call them the Chuck Army, but that's not important yeah, so, right now. It's on to triathlon. So who is who, is who on, the, on, the, on the floor here? So we have red and white is Chuck Goodwin. Uh, in the straight red with the red pauldrons is Jack Young. Now this uh, is going to be... A, he's got a yellow sun on the front too. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, now this is it. a fierce round one. They're just going shot for shot, shot for it. shot. Seems to be really hard to push Chuck back. I can see that... Uh, Jack is really trying, but, but Chuck is not wavering and almost like moving in where he wants him. Yeah, Jack's going to have awesome. to Jack's gonna have to come in a little more on that lateral movement if he's going to want to outmaneuver Chuck. It's like we got some metal down on the ground. I'm not sure what it is. No one's Look called for an armor. No one's called for armor yet, so we'll disregard that metal until until then. I think that was the tip of his foot, no? That's... Oh. Woo! Swing and a miss from Jack Young. Hey, swing. We got yeah, 10 seconds. Chuck's doing Chuck a great job and not let him get by him. Oh, Chuck oh, just my God, yeah, hammering him, hammering him. We got the crap oh, he went for the throw. snap, son. That we almost had a toss. Right All right. Well done. Well done out there. Nice job, guys. We got our squires going in, picking up metal, figuring everything out. I don't know who took that round, dude. They were both that, going pretty yeah, heavy, that, man. That was a match. That was a match. Oh, oh, snap. Built on the sword busted off. That's what I thought. I thought yeah. that was part of our sword there. Yeah. Which one? Uh, who? Yeah, which one? Chuck. Oh, okay. So part of uh part of Chuck's sword broke. Wow. Yeah, dude. But that was surprising to see. I mean, it was only like, you know, 20 seconds into the fight at most, and then you can see just from those quick brawls, you know, that armor being used as long as it has, it seems that we had some parts break off. Oh wow. no, that all right. Looks Chuck's like Chuck Goodwin one. takes the first round. All well right. Done. And now we are moving on to the sword and shield part of our triathlon. So I've, I've now begun my uh, my rooting for Jack so that we can get all five rounds in here. Come on, Jack. <laughs> you got this. Let's go. I'm excited to see how this turns out. Chuck is a big dude. Chuck's a strong dude, but so is Jack. So those hits are going to be coming in heavy. Oh, uh, you can see uh, you can see right here on the shield. Both their shields right in view. Look at those blocks. Those shields are up high. I got some really Trains. good swings in, really good blocks in it. Trading some solid shots here. You can see, like, right as the shot goes in, that the, the shield comes up for the block just to make sure that they're not leaving themselves open. Like that, try not to get himself up to the wall here. Yeah, it looks like Jack's trying, Jack's starting to tie around a little bit here. You can see his shoulders shrug a little bit. He's going to have to keep moving if he wants this, dude. I really but want to see it. He's got this. He's good. He's gold. He's Gucci. He can just keep oh, going. He can keep now. going. Come on. So it's also something I, I again I talked about earlier. It's really interesting to see the difference between that left hand and right hand fighter. You know they have their they have their weapons and swords and shields on the same side. I you know and really just seeing like how that affects the fighter. It definitely does change the dynamics of the fight because like especially when you have a righty versus a lefty, righty who hasn't fought lefty a whole bunch. It's so much more of a mental game. Absolutely. All right, we've called it for round two. We're going to see. Again, I'm still hoping for Jack because I really want to see those uh, five rounds go through the draft. I here. want that Florentine. We're not sure. We have, we we have Chuck in that second round there. And uh, what is the third round coming up for weapons? All right, so our third round coming up for weapons, uh, we're going to alternate between longsword and sword and shield. So my understanding of the way that this is going to work is the first round, they're going to fight sword and shield. And then the second round, they're going to fight Longsword. Okay. Uh, if I have that right. Yes, front kicks are illegal in Sword and Shield. I wouldn't have known that. I feel like there's a lot of uh, room for forgiveness since it's been since it's been a minute since we yeah. had an opportunity to fight. And not all of our fighters are, uh, are duelists. Not everybody so, has what? all of the rules down in their heads. Oh, it looks like we're switching it up. Uh, we have Water. Chuck with the sword and shield. Huh? Yeah. This is really oh, cool man. to see a different, uh, different weapons. 
versus each other. Here. I don't think I even knew this kind of thing existed in duels. I mean, it makes sense, but it's pretty interesting to see. That's the thing. Is I don't think they do. I think this is a homebrew. Homebrew, yeah. Yeah, dude. I mean, I'm about it. I'm not mad yeah, about it. Great. I'd like to see it in a competition. Oh, man. This is just a completely oh, different fight. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wow. All right. Jack seems to have lost a piece of his Aventail, but it's not a critical loss, so we're just going to keep going here. It's interesting to see those strikes coming from that long sword, but also trying to prepare for a block because Chuck really has more opportunity if he gets that good block in on that long sword to really go for another strike, as you saw there right on the helmet. Oh, for sure. Yeah, so there it, it seems is, really difficult. Is. Honestly, for the long sword fighter, this seems like a much more difficult fight for them for a seasoned uh, sword and shield fighter. Oh, no doubt. But it is really great to see the tactics that one uses on uh, on both sides of the of that battle there, of that duel. Yeah, they use Thunderbolt 13. We do too. It's really cool to see. Let's see who our winner is. All right. And we All have right. round three going round to Chuck. Three. Chuck Goodwin. <laughs> I'm just here hoping that uh, we're going to get to see all five rounds regardless of victories, but who knows? My my guy, I want this like I've never wanted anything in the world. It is too early in the night, and I am too sober to be asking, <laughs> to be answering these existential questions. Wait, are you saying that, uh, <laughs> that commentators are allowed to drink during these matches? I, I, I was not told of this. I am not. <laughs> We are not. Uh, darn. Okay, I, well, I'm um, not. I'm not telling I, I, you I'd no. Like to, I'd like to quit uh, my job as a commentator. Um, I'll just be the annoying person on your uh, on your left, uh, and I will instead be drinking. Oh, we get to see a fourth round. Listen, I'm never going to tell you what to do with your life, Great but I'm going to tell you it might not be a good idea. All right, so now we got it up here. we got Chuck with the long sword, Jack with sword and shield, Jack coming out fast and furious like he has been. We had a really good thing from Chuck there coming in uh, after seeing what what we were getting from Jack. There. I like it. I'm I like to put him around to the I'm, side. I'm liking this lateral movement that I'm seeing from Jack. I know in the past he's been very Ooh, woo. A lot of big pushes there. Forget Get that. The ground, oh, and down, down he goes. Giving him that opportunity to stand up. It's really nice to see the mutual respect in a in a in a game like this, a duel like this. Oh no doubt, man. Like there are definitely uh there are definitely fights, one on one fights like this, pro fights, where when somebody goes down, I believe you have ten seconds to hit him. Uh, but that's not the game that we're playing. So there is there is a lot of respect between fighters and just like giving them the opportunity to get up, reset, do what they need to do to get ready to continue the fight. Let's go, let's go, you got this. Come on. We only got 10 seconds. Now's the time to push. I lied. Time's up. We're going to see who took it. Some great work out there on both sides. Uh, like I said before, and I've said all night, it's, you know, you can really see the heart and soul that's going into both these fighters. I mean, Regardless of one looking more tired than the other, you can see they're really putting in their all. And, and I mean, you know, as I was saying from a new fighter, uh, we had round Chuck four. Takes it Chuck again. Well. Man, he is sweeping it. Great all job right. there. But like, as, as I was saying, um, the, this armor weighs a lot. And I mean, you can look at it and say, well, of course, they're wearing, you know, full armor. Of course, it weighs a lot. But when you're out there training, um, you don't get as many opportunities to put on that full suit armor as you might think. And, and here we have, you know, fighters who. They're going to get tired a lot faster than you'd expect. No doubt. And there is definitely something to be said for the fighter that puts their kit on more often than somebody who maybe doesn't get the opportunity to or just chooses not to, whatever the case may be. Um, every, every single time you get an opportunity to fight, you are learning more. You're getting more practice in than another person who maybe like couldn't make an event or couldn't make a practice or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we got that last round coming in. This yes, is a uh, yes, Florentine. Yes. It's the Falchion versus the Sword. I am here for the Florentine. So I can't see from where we're looking, but oh, wow! I, uh... <laughs> yeah, buddy. There you go. There you Bro, go. Just swing those swords. Swing those swords. Swing them. Swing them. Swing them. Yeah. Swing them. Swing them. I love it. I love it. Woo. Chuck using his right size on Jack. There. And Chuck's, back, got, back. Chuck's got gas for days on up. Jack. There you go, there you yes, go. Yes, 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 yes. Keep swinging, boys. Keep swinging. This Keep swinging. Go, 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 go. I there love go. this. This is so good. Me over here jumping in there. See, oh, man, seat. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, this is what I'm talking about, seat. baby. Yes. Chuck is walking, Jack. Jack's got to get out of that corner if he wants a chance to throw some shots. Go, go, go. Come on, Jack, go. Woo! Get him, get him, get him! Solid get shot him, from him. Chuck. Both 
hammering down. Yeah, 10 seconds. 10, 10 seconds. seconds. We got 10 seconds. Yeah, Gas. Gas has got to keep on. swinging. Come on. Chuck's got gas. Chuck's got gas. What Jack's got to keep pushing. He's got here. it. What a great oh, fight. That is it. That Those is two it. Very powerful fighters right there. Well fought, both Look of them. They both did an amazing that. job. <laughs> Listen, just, just to be out there and watch, fight. you know, both of those gentlemen take a beating from each other. And even Jack holding his own the whole time. Great Chuck job out there. Jack, great job that out was there, a Chuck. solid performance so from good. both of these guys. That, that was so incredible. Good. I mean, you saw, you know, Chuck coming out there with the double overhand swing <laughs> straight on the both those shoulder pads. I mean, that was a strike to remember. That's what I'm fucking he, talking about, he, dude. He got cornered and just, <laughs> boom, you know. <laughs>